Here I have a look dev scene for a T-Rex character or set up and the materials for the character are already set up as well inside a network material create. So I can use the Katana to USC node to convert these materials across to USD so that I can assign them to the USD meshes. So just to point out that there are plans to have a full native USD uh, material creation workflow. However, for now, this method and this node provides a way for assigning and baking your materials using USD before the complete tool set is available. So just before I demonstrate this, um, some of you may have noticed that the node creation menu has been updated slightly in the way that you can search. So you can now use letters or words anywhere within the node name and they will be found from the menu um, as opposed to before where you would have to start from the beginning of the node name or use the asterisk to search within it. So this is a really helpful update um, something that I'm personally very happy about and it just makes finding nodes that you may not know the exact name of um, a lot more quick and easy. Cool, so now that I've dropped down the Katana TSC node, I can specify which locations I want to convert over. And this can be the entire scene, um, so everything from root, um, bearing in mind that this will convert everything that is upstream to anything created downstream um, like my look dev scene um, and any materials downstream won't be converted over. Um, or I can specify specific locations. So in this case, I just want to convert over my materials. So I can just drag the material location across. And again, um, these materials here have been created downstream, so they won't be converted, um, but that's fine. That's exactly what I want. I just have my T-Rex materials that have been converted over. And I can now add a path as well where I want these uh, materials to be placed on the USD side. Um, so by default, they're just placed under the slash root location, um, but I would like them to live under my uh, char T-Rex location um, to keep everything under that parent level. Um, and I can also change the um, prim specifier at this point as well. This location has already been defined upstream um, when I was bringing in my asset. So there's no need to define it now, um, but if you did want to create a new location, then you can change the specifier to define here as well. And by default, the locations are pruned and removed from uh, the Katana side, but you can also untick this to keep the um, locations on both sides if you want to. And there's some other options here as well. For example, we have, um, you can specify locations to ignore. Um, so if you wanted to ignore any paths from within the, the location that's specified, um, and also some other options about how specific elements in the scene are converted over. Um, for example, there's an option to disable the mesh conversion, which can be really helpful if you just wanted to bring over um, things like the material bindings without the actual mesh. So a lot of different options to help you um, specify how and what should be converted. I'm just gonna leave all these options as default because um, this is exactly what I need to just bring those materials over to USD so that I can assign them and then eventually uh, export them out all as USD.